Notice the custom widget placement. Notice the custom app placement. And on top of that, the app icons do not have labels. What's up everyone, this is Autogus Tech, and in this video, I will be showing y'all how you can take your iPhone to the next level using two awesome apps that are so easy to use, and everything will be so simple in this tutorial. Most of it is just download links. So this is a really cool pre-iOS 16 method to customize your iPhone, just in case you've been eagerly waiting to maybe get some new cool features on your iPhone before getting the beta update. So let's get started with this actual tutorial. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you, I think, about four or five awesome themes for your iPhone. And this would definitely look sick on the iPhone 14. But as of now, we just got a rocket on the current iPhone 13. And you can really do this on whatever iPhone you want. So here's what you got to do for this tutorial. You can see you get this awesome look. Here's one of the other views that you can get for one of the other home screens. And the possibilities are endless for this. You can see you can customize your home screen with the weather. You can even add a Google working search bar. And on top of that, you can add this even better looking weather view. And basically, you can get whatever look you want. And it's so simple. So first, what you want to do is download the images in the description below. And these images are basically QR codes for the next application we're going to use. And each one of these is an awesome theme. So that being said, these were created by other people. I will link them down below in the description so you can check out the creators of this. But before we get started with the widgets, let's talk about the app icons because this is super simple. You're going to want to download the first link in the description. Everything will be labeled. And this app lets you download other app icons. And there's themes and things like that. And you can pay for some of these and you don't have to pay for some of the other ones. So the one I'm using that is pretty much the only reason I'm using this app is the black theme. Now what's great about this app is you can customize these app icons before you install them. So what you can do is you can choose if you want the background to be transparent or if you want your background to be black. You can customize it and you can choose if you want to install it as a shortcut or as a profile. So I'm going to show you all the profile method, but it is in this application that you can remove the app icon labels. It's just a simple switch. As you can see, my app icons are removed. So if you install it using the profile method, it'll take you to Safari. You just want to tap on allow and then close the pop-up. Then open up settings, click on general, scroll all the way down, and then go ahead and tap on profiles and device management. And then once you're here, you'll see the new profile has been installed and you can just go ahead and tap on install and then type in your iDevice password. So it's very simple. I know it sounds like a lot, but it's just literally four clicks. Now the next app you're going to want to install is called Widgy. Now this is where we use those images that you downloaded previously. So these images are the widgets and their QR codes. It's pretty sick. So you want to tap on the middle tab in Widgy. And then from here, you want to tap on where you can choose your wallpaper. And then this will make sure that the widgets are transparent. So in order to choose your wallpaper, what you're going to want to do is hold down any app on your iPhone and make sure it's in wiggle mode and then take a screenshot of an empty page on your iPhone. Now, once you have done that, go ahead and select the wallpaper and that will be your transparent background. And this is that with all the widgets, you know, have that really clean minimalistic background like you can see here. Now, you could do two pictures. You could do a screenshot while your device is in light mode or a screenshot while your device is in dark mode. Me specifically, I'm using a black and white wallpaper, so it really doesn't matter. But depending on your iDevice, if you're using a colorful wallpaper or you have a complex series shortcut setup that makes your wallpaper change with light to dark, you might want to do this. But but if you're a basic user, don't worry about this part. Just, just make sure you set your wallpaper to transparent for one of those views. Now what you want to do is go ahead and tap on Import Widgie. Now, once you import Widgie, it's going to take you to a screen like this, and you're just going to import the QR code at the very bottom, and you can select the images. So you can select them all at once. I just decided to do one, and you can see that from here, it gives you the option to edit. I'm not going to edit anything, so I'm just going to back out of it, and you can see it takes me to my home screen once I exit the app. Now, how do you actually install the widget? Just enter wiggle mode, tap on the plus button, and then from here, you're going to want to go ahead and search Widgie, and it'll give you the page view for all the custom widgets you can choose. Um, I already have widgets installed, so you just scroll until you have an empty one, and then I'm just going to tap on this one right here. So you'll see it's blank, and if you tap on it, nothing happens. In order to actually get the widget that you want, go ahead and tap on done, and then tap on the widget. And then from here, you can pick the widget that you installed, tap on the check mark, and then tap yes. And then from here, if you want to edit it, you can. If you don't, just back out, and then boom. You can see the widget is on my iPhone home screen. So if you have a really cool wallpaper like this, it looks awesome. This literally will work for any wallpaper on your iDevice. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. Awesome videos are coming your way. And as always, peace.